Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, we're going to create a virtual hard drive and we're going to attach it to our Windows XP machine. Okay, so to do that, click on the Windows XP machine and then click the settings button. Okay, now click on storage. Then click on the controller ID right here and then click the second icon the plus add hard drive right here um, and then you're gonna get this dialog box uh, you're going to click the create new disk button and we're gonna wanna do it uh, VMDK hit next uh, the storage size is going to be fixed. Hit next. The uh, hard drive name will be FTK test. And the hard drive size will be 100 megabytes. Yeah, 100 megabytes. And then uh, after that, click the Create button. And then hit OK. And then go ahead and start your virtual machine. Okay, so the uh, next thing we need to do is uh, click start and then you're going to right click on my computer and then you're going to go to manage and then you're going to click on uh, disk management. <clears throat> Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go here, right click. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to click here where it says disk one. And you're going to right click here. And then it'll say initialize disk. And then, yeah, that's the disk you want to initialize. So then press OK. Okay, and then once it says it's online here, then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this black line, and then you're going to go to new partition, and then you should get this new partition wizard. Okay, and then in this uh, wizard here, you're going to press next, and then you're going to select primary partition, click next. And then go ahead and leave the default size. Hit next. And then assign the following drive letter here. You're going to assign Z. And then click next. And then format this partition. Uh, just I think you're going to leave. Okay, so it's NTFS. Uh, default unit uh, allocation unit size. And then here for the volume label, we'll call it FTK. And then go ahead and press next. And then hit finish. Okay, so now it's been formatted. It's ready to use. Okay, so we can go ahead and close out this computer management window. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go online. And you're going to download uh, three pictures. I guess we can just go to Google for this. And then you're going to do a search. 
for three pictures. We can go to images. Now what I recommend is go ahead and just click on the picture. Click on view image and then go ahead and save image as right just right click save as and then what you're going to want to do is save it to the new drive we created drive Z so save it there okay uh, maybe we can click on this one let's view that one Save image as, save this guy, and then maybe one more, this one here. Okay, so now we have three images. Okay, so let's uh, close this out. Let's go to our file system. Let's find those pictures. Go to my computer. Go to your new drive. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to delete them. So just uh, select them all. Click delete. Send them to the recycle bin. Hit yes. Close this out. Uh, make sure they're also gone from the recycle bin. If I can find it. Give me a second. Oh, I couldn't find it, sorry, because uh, it was placed here in the corner. Alright, there's the recycle bin. Go ahead and double click on that. And then go ahead and empty the recycle bin. We want those pictures completely gone. Or supposedly completely gone. Then hit yes. Pictures are gone. Uh, now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once you empty out the recycle bin, uh, then we're going to need to create a folder in the C drive. So just go to my computer, go to C drive. Uh, if you have this message here, just hit uh, show the contents of this folder anyway. And then here we're going to create a new folder and then call it uh, forensics oops okay I just rename it <clears throat> forensics okay now I'll close this out okay so now what we need to do is we need to attach the helix ISO to the virtual machine CD drive so that way we can launch the application. Uh, an ISO is a disk image. It's pretty much the equivalent of actually sticking a physical disk inside the disk drive, right? But nothing here is physical. Uh, we're dealing with uh, everything through software. You're going to need to go to devices, CD drive, and then you can choose whichever file you need right so we need this one here so just double click on it and it should open up and then hit accept okay and then you're gonna to need to go to uh, Oh, go to Quick Launch, and then we need the FTK Imager. Okay, so now in FTK Imager, uh, go to File, and then we're going to create a new evidence item and then the source will be the physical drive and then the drive we're going to want to choose is going to be the one we created 
the 104 megabyte one. This one here. And then click finish. Okay, so then in the evidence tree, uh, we're going to look for our pictures. So just go ahead and expand, hit the little plus here, and then go to um, partition one, FTK, and then the unallocated space here. And our pictures should be in this location. So we can click on them. Okay, so if you have a little bit of trouble finding your pictures, um, you're going to have to dig around a little bit through the evidence tree. So go ahead and expand here. Uh, if this was closed, it might have looked like this. Go to FTK. And some pictures might be in the allocated space. So just click on each one. Uh, if you don't see anything that looks like a picture, uh, see, this could be a picture here, right? So uh, that's, uh, we'll recover this one and see what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and recover this image. So just go ahead and right click on it and then export files. And then we're going to save it in our forensics folder here. Hit OK. So then it'll send that. Um, to that folder. Uh, don't see any other images, so just go ahead and go under root and then go to recycler. Expand that. Okay, and here are the other images. Alright, so let's go ahead and export this as well. and then this other one here. Okay, so now let's go back to our forensics folder. Go to C drive, go here. These two images, I think if we click on them, we can view them. There you go. This one, though, it is an image, but uh, we're having some trouble opening it. So just double click on it. And if you choose the pick Windows and Picture Viewer, it will uh, fix itself. So watch, hit OK. And then now we can see it. The problem is the file extension. So maybe we can rename it or go to Properties. Maybe we can fix it somehow. or have an idea. Let's double click on it, go here, and then we can resave it. And then save this picture as a JPEG. There you go. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make an image of the entire hard disk. Right? We can use that as evidence. So to do that, go back to FTK Imager, and then go to File, Create Disk Image, and then Physical Drive, hit Next, and then the drive we're going to make a copy of is going to be this one here, the 98 megabyte one. And then click uh, finish and then click the add button and we're going to save it as raw DD hit next uh, the case number will be CSCI 6318 
evidence number 001. Uh, your name here. And then hit next. Uh, image destination folder. Go ahead and hit browse. My computer. C drive, the forensics folder. And hit OK. And then the image file name can be something like uh, pictures. And then click uh, finish. And then click start. So now we have a backup of the entire hard drive. Okay, so then now to load the image we just created, hit close, go to file, add evidence item, and then this time we're going to do it from an image file, right, the image we just created. So I'll go to next, and then the source will be our forensics folder. And then the one we need is this one here. Here's the DD file. Hit open. Click finish. And it's pretty much just a copy of the of the one we saw before. <clears throat> okay, so then to complete this assignment. go to your forensics folder and then here uh, there should be a file uh, called pictures.001 click on that and it has pretty much a summary of everything uh, you did here you can go ahead and upload this um, to get credit 